Welcome back guys, this is going to be a slightly different episode, this is the big vehicle update. Oh yeah, we're doing a complete overhaul on the vehicles that we're using in the game. And I've created a new collection, it's called Skies London Vehicles, and I'm going to put all the vehicle stuff into that collection. Uh, it's on the Steam Workshop, if you, if you want to go and grab it or take a look at it, it's all on there. And I'll put a link in the video description. And I've added 73 new vehicles, oh hell yeah. Now, how the hell do you control all of this stuff? Well, that's what we're going to be looking at. So I've added a mod. It's called the um, the Advanced Vehicle Options mod. And it gives you this little icon down here, which I'm uh, going to click on in a second. But first, I want to show you like why I'm doing this. It's because... Now, I've found a couple of good examples um, like down here. Okay, so first of all, I'm, uh, I'm really tired of seeing... Let's get over here so I can actually see the damn things. I'm really tired of seeing these blooming sports cars everywhere. You know, and look, there's two two right next to each other. And the other thing that I'm really tired of seeing, which um, if I zip down here, we'll see a good example of. Uh, just down here. Here we go. The wonderful, the famous pink donut van. God, I hate these things. I really hate them. I hate them almost as much as I hate the hot dog vans. These hot dog vans and the bug spray vans, right, we're going to be getting rid of those and we're going to be adding a lot more European style cars uh, and trucks and uh, service vehicles and all kinds of stuff. So, should we get to it? Let's get to it. So we click on this. This brings up the advanced vehicle options mod and this lists all the vehicles, okay, and gives you a whole bunch of options. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to go through this list. And uh, we're going to be turning some on and off, and we're going to be playing around with some stuff. Now, the, I'm doing cars and trains in this update. I'm not playing around with the airplanes yet, uh, or the ships. Shall we start? Let's get going, because there's a lot to get through. So, um, this is a, the kind of typical thing that I'm going for. Uh, it, it's just a kind of, what the Americans would call a sedan. Uh, it's just a kind of a plain average car that you would see on, on British roads. Um, now... Over here, you can set various things. So you can change the color options that will spawn. And I want to try and get rid of as many of the bright colors as possible. I mean, we will have some, but I want to I want to tone it down. I want a lot more kind of, like, like these kind of colors are good. Quite happy with those. Uh, we can also play around with the speeds if we want to. Now, some of these have got ridiculously high speeds, but you don't have to worry about that because they're limited to the speed that, uh, of the road that they're on. So if you see some that are set to like, a thousand kilometers per hour it doesn't matter they're not gonna zip around that fast they're limited by the roads so uh, BMW we'll see loads of BMWs on London's roads, so that's a great one Audi TT I'm trying to avoid getting too many flashy sports cars but the Audi TT is something that you see driving around you know like reasonably often um, yeah, it's, it's not an uncommon see, thing to see driving around. More BMWs, 325i, 3 Series BMWs, probably one of the most common vehicles on, on London's roads. Uh, an E90, yeah, fine. British Black Cab. Now, this is a slightly old style. I'm hoping somebody's going to come up with a new style Black Cab. Um, if, they, if they would, I'd, uh, I wish they'd bring out like four or five of them because you get millions of black cabs. So it'd be great to uh, have a load of those around. Uh, we've got um, a couple of these Fiat 500 mods. Now, this one is not bad. I quite like the colours on this one. This one's got the wing mirrors on, I think. Oh, that one's got the wing mirrors as well. That's a bunch more colour options. Which, I, to be honest, I don't mind. They're not horrible. They're not too bright. The yellow's a little bit bright, but you would see that. Uh, we've got a couple of Ford Focuses. And you can see this one's set to 600 kilometers per hour, which is ridiculous. Uh, but we've got this model. There's also this model, which is slightly different. It's got this um, this black trim on it, or well, black or grey, depending on the on the particular model. Uh, and Ford Focus. I mean, Christ, that is such an incredibly common car. I've picked up both of those because we want lots of Ford Focuses around. Um, this is the standard hatchback model that comes in the, in the game. Uh, I'm going to leave that in for now. But I may end up taking that out. Uh, Mazda RX-8. Yep, yeah, you will see Mazdas driving around. Then we've got a whole bunch of Mercedes. And these are pretty nice models. You've got the A-Class, the C-Class, the E-Class. And, of course, the, a, a couple of different variants uh, of the uh, of the E-Class. And then the S-Class. 
very nice, which can travel apparently at 1,200 kilometers per hour, which is ridiculous. Now, this one, the Mini Cooper, I was in two minds about getting this because it's got the Union Jack on the top, which I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of, but it's the only Mini Cooper model out there, so I'm going to take it. Uh, uh, this Mini Bus, I don't know. I don't know if we should leave that in or not. It's a bit, I don't know, it, I'm really, really tempted to turn that off. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to, like if I'm in two minds, I'm going to leave it in. And then if we're, when we're looking around, I kind of spot them and, and it looks out of place, then I'm going to get rid of them. Uh, this is the old style Mini, which um, you do still see driving around. So we'll, we'll, we'll take that, which apparently can do 275 kilometers per hour. It's <laughs> like, what the hell? And I like it that they've got it in, uh, in th this should be darker though. This should be British racing green, really. Uh, we've got the new Beetle, and you'll see tons of those on London's roads. Uh, Nissan Leaf, I don't mind. That's that's a that doesn't look out of place on London's roads. Peugeot 308, you see tons of these. Uh, Range Rover Evoque, which I quite like. It's a nice model. Uh, that's the standard scooter. I'm surprised that there aren't more scooter models out there because scooters are very popular in London. These are the um, like standard sedans. I'm going to leave those in. Now, oh, but I did add this. This is a grayscale version of the sedan, right? So these are quite bright models, okay? Uh, and I may end up changing these color schemes because I, I, I don't really like them. This is a mod that you can get which introduces like white, black, and two gray. And it just helps to mute down the roads a bit instead of having all the bright colors. And it makes them look kind of more like how the roads would look. So, um, so I picked that up. There's a, there's a grayscale for SUVs as well, but we'll come to that. Uh, uh, Skoda Octavia, yeah, you'd see those driving around. Smart cars, yes, you see quite a few of these in London. Plenty of them. And unfortunately, they are ridiculous bright colours most of the time, so um, we'll stick with that. I've actually picked up two mods for smart cars. I may end up disabling one of them. This is the sports car that I, that I hate. I really hate this. So that is not going to be allowed to spawn. Go away. Bye-bye. No more of those. Station wagon. This is, I don't know, it's just so wrong. I, I hate that thing. That's going. We're not having those on our roads. SUVs. I don't mind this. It's, it's, fairly, it's fairly bland. This is the grayscale version again. So we've got white, black, and, uh, and the two gray colors. Happy with that. Um, these are the... These, uh, these pastel colours, God knows who came up with those. It's just wrong. It's just, I'm really tempted to turn it off completely, but I may end up just like offline playing around with the colours and, and coming up with something that's a little bit nicer. Toyotas, again, you see loads of Toyotas on our roads. Uh, Toyota Camry, Levin, that's an older model. The, now the Hilux, you, you don't see a lot of pickup trucks around, but you do see some. So this is the only pickup truck that I've um, I've included, and the Hilux is probably if you're going to see a uh, a pickup truck in London, it's probably going to be a Hilux. Uh, I have included the Toyota Sora and the Toyota Supra. Now the Toyota Supra, yes, it's a bit flashy, but again, it is the kind of car that you will see. And I like these colours. I like the colour scheme, except that one. I may end up changing that one to maybe a. Maybe more of a red than a pink. It's, it's a bit, yeah, I don't like pink cars on the road, to be honest. Volkswagen bus. Yeah, you see those around. Not so many these days. They're kind of like a bit rarer now, but is what it is. Now, this is the Volkswagen Golf GTI 2010. You will see millions of these, and, and particularly like black ones. Loads of black GTIs. And this is the second smart mod. And this is actually slightly better with these, um, these like, this, this trim on it. So those are definitely staying. I might turn the other one off if I see too many of these around. So that's the cars. And that's a hell of a lot of new cars to add to our roads, which is awesome source. Then we've got, now these are the, the like the standard trucks. Um, but because we've got some agriculture going on, I've also added in this Scania, the Scania R Streamline, which I think is pretty nice. And it comes with its, uh, with its own trailer which uh, should give us a little bit of variation. I am going to be putting some agriculture around the edges of the city. So um, we will be using a few of those. And I'm probably going to maybe pick up one or two more trucks. Um, I went through the entire collection. I picked this one up. as I think this was the only one I really picked up. There are a couple of other trucks, though, that are awesome. The DHL truck, which I really like. It's the trailer that we want. This is something you see all the time. Like, And we're over here by the, um, by the M4. 
And by the way, I'm going to redo this because this is this is. Uh, I'm amazed that you guys weren't up in arms about this because this is completely wrong. It should be like the opposite way round. This centre section should be elevated, right? Because that's how it is. There is a, there is a centre section which is joined together. It's not two separate roads like this. And then on the on the on the ground underneath this, you've got two roads. Uh, so that's going to be redone. I'll, I'll mention that while we're, while we're on the subject. Um, and this, oh, I love this one. IKEA. We've got the IKEA truck. So we'll see IKEA trucks driving around, which is awesome because we've got the um, we've got two IKEAs. I think there's a third IKEA that I need to put in. You guys, when I put the IKEA uh, IKEAs in, people were telling me about a third one. So we'll do that. Um, these are the standard oil and ore trucks. Now this is a box truck that I've added, uh, and I've tried to add in quite a lot of um, of, of different. Uh, transport vehicles because you will see loads and loads of these on the road and we want lots of variation so we've got this um, this box truck this box truck which is a different version uh, the bug spray van oh I am so happy to be able to do this boom you can never spawn again we will never see any more of these stupid things love it now sprinters these sprinter vans are like the commonest delivery truck or delivery van in London like like seriously if I look out my window there is one outside right now just like this so I've picked this one up we've got the uh, the TNT deli uh, delivery van in the in the TNT livery uh, yep yeah, very common we'll see loads of those uh, this is um, a different version of that the donut van bye bye that's going hot dog van bye bye no more of those now there is an ice cream van version of this that I almost picked up I'm in two minds guys if you if you think we should have ice cream trucks driving around, then uh, drop me a comment and I'll think about adding it. I, I'm kind of, I don't know at the moment. Right, then we've got, look, we've got the DHL version, the FedEx version. I love this guy's collection. He's put in some awesome stuff. This Pedroso, I don't know what Pedroso is, but um, I kind of like the delivery. So, and it gives us more variation, so I've included it. Uh, we've got a, a, a semi-truck version, so a box version of the Sprinter, love it. This is uh, this is another one, this is the, the Super Lesma, and this is a UPS version, which I gotta say, I, I, I'm not necessarily keen on the uh, on the livery of this one, but like what the hell. And this is one of my favorites. This guy's come up with a series of, uh, of stuff, and he's got these weird names. Now, there is a supermarket chain in the UK called Tesco, and he's called it Tosco, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, if you understand, uh, British uh, uh, vulgarities, then uh, yeah, Tosco. <laughs> I love that. I think that's, that's awesome. And there's uh, four different colour variations, which I, I must admit, I'm not massively keen on the colour variations, but I can live with it. Uh, really, this should be um, a kind of a, a red colour for, for, for the real Tesco. And then we've got a bunch of different. Uh, oh, now these are. Oh, yeah, they're, now these, are, oh, these are a bunch of different vans, which are the, those are the standard ones in the game, aren't they? We may end up getting rid of. See, I don't like that. It's too rounded and nondescript. And that I hate. I'm really tempted to get rid of those two. Don't like those two at all. I, that one's going. That one's going for sure. That one. I can maybe live with that one. Okay, uh, and then we've got Vauxhall, uh, Vauxhall, Volkswagen Transporter, cool, like it. Uh, we've got the Volvo uh, FE, God knows, uh, but yeah, like that. In fact, really like that. That's a that's the sort of thing you would see on London's roads all the time. Then we've got the VW Caddy, and this is a commercialised version. There is, um, I think, I think it's called the residential version, which um, has got like windows at the back, and, and it's. But I, I just got the commercial one. I didn't think it was. Um, really right to have it as a as a residential car uh then then we get into some of the service vehicles so we've got the um the ds3 mb sprinter uh uk police van right that is that is absolutely spot on that is what you would see driving around london i love that then you've got the um the octavia combi uh, police car yeah i'm happy with that uh, these uh these are the stock ones that's going we're not going to have those anymore that is like the american style that's going we're not going to see those anymore which makes me very very happy what made me really do this was when i was filming the montage up in uh, up in the city of london which is up here 
and I, I was trying to get shots of the London buses and stuff, and these damn things kept driving past, and it was really annoying me. So I was like, right, they're going. We're going to do it. So that's out. Um, now this, if you look at the colour scheme on this one, this is exactly right. It should be this slightly muted. This one is too bright, and so is that one, right? I'm going to include them for now, right? I'm going to allow them to spawn, and I'm going to see if I spot them and... and like, if I see them, if I notice them, then they're going. They, they're going to be taken out. Because those are just awesome. And I could live with just those two. But we'll leave those in for now. Right, now, fire engines. Um, the only two UK fire engines are, I think, this one and this one. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just different livery. It's the same vehicle, but just slightly different. And I thought, yeah, let's have them for a bit of variation. I like that. So that's good. 